Lots of you have asked me what the hell is going on with Jaden Sancho. So I want to explain exactly what happened last night because there were quite big developments with Sancho, United and Dortmund and the negotiations that are going on. I want to explain what happened. I want to explain why it happened. And I want to explain exactly what the latest situation on Sancho is. Now, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you are watching on Facebook, make sure you share the video. It does help us grow. And that can't be a bad thing. But let's talk about Jaden Sancho in a little bit more detail. So if you didn't see what happened, on Tuesday night at 9pm, there was, in unison, a briefing in the British press. You look at Simon Peach from Press Association, Simon Stone from the BBC, James Ducker from The Telegraph, Rob Dawson from ESPN, and David Ornstein from The Athletic, all saying the exact same story, that United are willing to walk away from this deal for Jadon Sancho, that no personal terms have been agreed yet, and that still United and Dortmund were some way off on their valuations of Sancho, in contrast to what has been reported by the likes of Fabrizio Romano, Christian Falk, and the European press. Complete contrast. So the first question to ask is, why would this information come out in unison at 9pm from all of these journalists? The reality is that United have briefed the press. Now, what does that mean? It means that United want to try and steer the narrative of this story. They're not happy with how this transfer is being, how it's unfolding in the press. And they want to try and take back more control of it in terms of how the narrative is being seen by the fans and the press. That's why United briefed these journalists to say these things, because United wanted this information to come out, because they felt it could help United in the negotiations. It goes to show that negotiations are still going on between Dortmund and United. And for me, it goes to show that they're not particularly going exactly how United want them to. Because if they were, United wouldn't need to brief the press like this. So it's an attempt from United, I would say, to take back some control of this negotiation that's going on between Dortmund and United over Jadon Sancho. Now, should we all be worried? I suppose it depends who you put your faith in, in terms of journalists, and how they're reporting on this story, because Fabrizio Romano was quick to defend his own information that he has been releasing over the last couple of days, that personal terms have been agreed, that United and Dortmund are still in advanced negotiations over a transfer for Sancho, that those talks are still going on, that the fee hasn't completely been agreed yet, but the talks are at an advanced stage. And Christian Falk over from Build Sport, he's reiterating the same stance. So I suppose it depends who you trust because Christian Falk, he's likely getting his information from the Dortmund side of things. Fabrizio Romano, maybe he's getting his side from the Dortmund side. Maybe he's getting it from Sancho's agent. You have to assume, you, you, that's all you can do is assume where they're getting their information from. But all of the British press are getting it from United. Christian Falk's getting it from Germany and Dortmund. That's why there are contrasting stories and it's how transfer stories develop. The reality is, is that it's never straightforward. It's never as clean cut as you want. Oh, it should be really. X amount for a player. You want it. We agree. Let's sign him. With United, there's always nuances to every deal. There's always negotiations. There's always toing and froing. And that's exactly what's going on right now. And the latest from Germany this morning is that United and Dortmund are actually using brokers as part of the negotiations for this deal. So aren't really directly speaking to each other as clubs. And maybe that's another reason why they would want to control the narrative of how this story is being portrayed in the media. And that's why these stories keep getting leaked from both sides to really stay on top of it. But as United fans, we all know that we've seen this before. Look, look at two of our most recent major transfers. Harry Maguire. Look at this. On the 30th of July... A story came on the BBC that United and Leicester were some way away on the valuation of Maguire. Five days later, we signed him. Then you look at Bruno Fernandes. On the 12th of January on ESPN, United and Sporting some way away on the valuation of Bruno. Then we signed him a couple of weeks later. So we have seen this all before from United. And these briefs in the press may well help United in these negotiations in terms of the structure of the fee and the add-ons and the instalments. It may well help, but the reality is, unfortunately for the British press, for David Ornstein, for James Ducker, Simon Peach, Simon Stone, 
Rob Dawson, they're all being used by United to report the news that United want to be reported. The journal, they're, doing, they're doing a great job, they're doing their job, they're doing what they're supposed to do, reporting information from their source. But it feels like United simply just trying to control the negotiations rather than explain the truth of what's going on because we have seen this all before. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm not too worried. I, I wouldn't shit myself and think, oh no, we might actually pull out of a deal to sign Jane Sancho. Because those same stories came out about Bruno Fernandes, those same stories came out about Harry Maguire, and we signed both of them. This is merely an attempt from United to maybe try and shave a few million off the price of Jaden Sancho. And we've got Ed Woodward, we've got Matt Judge, and we're owned by the Glazers. We should not be surprised that this happened. We should have expected it to happen. I did expect it to happen. That's why I was so damn confused when yesterday... It said that Fabrizio said that we were in advanced talks and things were really going ahead and looked like we were going to sign him from Monday. That's not how United work. I thought we had changed, but maybe, maybe we haven't changed. And there's going to be changes, no doubt. Things are going to swing to and from. Hopefully we still sign Jaden Sancho by next week. But this, as I wanted to explain the truth behind it all, it's merely United briefing the press to try and take back some control of a transfer that they clearly feel they aren't controlling as well as they want to. And United aren't, or maybe United maybe aren't at the price that they want to be with Jaden Sancho, and this is their attempt to try and force that. You can look into it how you will, but I personally wouldn't be worried. I think this is just another tactic from United to try and get the best price possible for Jaden Sancho. And because we've seen it all before with Bruno. And Harry Maguire, we've seen there's a precedent. We've got evidence to show that. But let me know what you think in the comments below about what's going on. Hopefully this video helped you understand everything that did happen and why I don't think you should be too worried about it. Make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new and share the video if you're watching this on Facebook. But I'll see you later on for the match review from the last game.